Good afternoon, girls. It's a pleasure to have you today, and we at Cloud and About are more than psyched to finally, finally have this wonderful opportunity to speak with you all. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. You gals, I have a teenage daughter myself, and I remember the first time I showed your video to her, we were just both so awestruck. You had us at Tayo Cruz's Dynamite. And I want to know, um, I think that time you were based in Sacramento. So now you're based in L.A. And I've heard that you also signed to a music label. How did, how did that whole journey for you guys happen? Um, well, when, when we were putting up the videos, we saw that they were getting so much, so many views, so much um just, just so, so much, much action, action. So, so it seems like our music career is just really looking in a good place and we, and we decided that we needed to be closer to where, to where the music industry was which is la so, so last year we packed up and moved down, down the state to, to uh, LA. la wonderful um so i have some questions for you now did you ever think of auditioning for any talent competition talent singing competition on tv before you moved to la um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think we thought, thought about that, that. But, they're but they're all like, like um, most, most of them were individual, individual at the time. Before, before things started, things started picking up, then the group shows got more popular. popular. And, then and then by then, then we were already like on our, on our way, way to getting signed. So we felt like it, um, um, that wasn't like a necessary step, step for us. But we've actually been contacted by a lot of those shows asking if we want to audition. But we can't because we're signed. Yeah. Understood. Now, who came up with the idea of doing a YouTube Cimarelli channel? I made the channel. Like, I signed up for YouTube and everything. But I think it was Catherine's idea to upload our first big video, which was Party in the USA. Great. Now, how do you guys prep yourselves when you do cover songs? Um, we, we practice, practice for a long time. time. We'll, we'll pick the song and arrange it. And then, and then we practice, practice for like sometimes two weeks. We just practice it every night and really get as prepared as we can. And then we film it. It takes a couple hours and then we put it all together. Okay. Now, uh, how does an ordinary day in the, the house of Cimarelli look like? Well, well now, now that we have all this music stuff, stuff it's a little bit crazy. Um, um, our, our days, days are totally different. different. We, never we never really know, really know what we're doing, doing until the day before. We'll get, we'll get random things. So a day could consist of um, waking, waking up and everyone doing like the mad rush at breakfast time. time. And, and then people, people going, going off and playing and exercising. And then the little, the younger kids doing homeschooling and us reading or doing whatever we want to do. Going in line, writing music, playing music. And then we'll have meetings. We'll, we'll have, have dance, we'll, we'll have, have studio time, time to write, write and record, and, and we never know what's going to happen until pretty much the day or week before. before. So, so every, every day, day is very different from before. before. I'm, I'm going to ask you, you got millions of fans all over the world. What was the craziest thing a fan ever did for you, and what was the sweetest thing? Oh, oh I know. Um, something, something that was really, really amazing was, was for, well, well actually for all of our birthdays, birthdays then um, our, our fans will get together, together with each other. I guess they communicate on Twitter and, and they make these huge birthday videos with, with all of them saying happy birthday from countries all over the world. And they, and they, and they have pictures of us holding up signs for each other to say happy birthday. And it's just the most amazing videos. We all were blown away by them. Yeah. Oh, and um, we did this, just a little tiny show in Long Beach last year. And, and a girl, girl flew, flew there to see us from, from yeah. Yeah. Arizona. Arizona. Wow. Yeah. We were, we were shocked. shocked. Wow. Now, how important is the role of your parents? Um, I know your brother is also very much involved in your band right now. How, how important is their, is their role? role? Yes, and your parents. How, how involved are they? Well, well um, I'm, I'm the leader of the band, band, and I'm the one who, like, like makes, makes like, like, pretty much the band decisions, decisions and... Um, is, is the, the creative force and the leading, leading force here, here and, and the founder. founder. But, but um, for our parents, parents um, our mom taught us all the music stuff, stuff so that was like a big deal for the band. band. And, and now she plays the role of being like pretty much the organizational, organizational manager because we, we have a manager, and then I feel like my mom's like the other half. She organizes so much stuff. stuff. She um, reads all the emails and like directs the right ones to us. She helps get like autograph things for us to autograph. 
she really, really organized, organized everything and keeps everything organized because I'm so focused on the creative stuff and leading the band, band that it's, it's really hard for me to get all the organizational details, details together. So she does that. that. But this band, band is really, it's really, really um, no, no. <laughs> it's really run by us. It, it, we're not, um, we're not, not being run, run by like adults or parents or anything. This is really like our vision and our thing. And we're very, very involved with it. That's nice to know. Now, um, I just want to know all of you one by one, and if you were a cupcake, this is a question for everybody, what flavor would you be and why? <laughs> oh, 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 no, wait, I know. I would be a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting because it's just delicious. I would be a chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting. Chocolate is I think I would be a poppy seed muffin or cupcake. Because, because I'm, I'm kind of quirky. quirky. <laughs> I would be a pink cupcake with, with a dark inside, inside that's pretty, pretty deep, and then, and then rainbow, rainbow sprinkles, sprinkles on top. I think, I think I'd, I'd be a red, red velvet, velvet cupcake. cupcake. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. But, but without cream cheese frosting. frosting. <laughs> it's, like, it's like normal frosting. Okay. I, I think, think I'd be a... Vanilla cupcake, cupcake with, with a lot of sugar. Lots of random sugar, sugar, sugar stuff. stuff. Like, like well, sprinkles. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. You know, that I, well, it, that's cupcakes that. are big right now, so I, I love all the flavors that you chose. Um, what, what, what's your favorite song for all time, each one of you? That we've, that we've covered? covered? Um, that, you know, just a personal song that you like. Oh, oh. 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 oh no. Oh, my gosh, this is hard. Um, just, I, know, I know what mine is. My favorite song is, is um, Deathbed, Deathbed by Reliant K. K. It's like, it's, like, it's a really cool song. song. It's like a religious song. song. It's about um, a, journey a journey through life, life and, how and how everything kind of evens out in the end. end. It's, it's really touching and beautiful. It's like 11 minutes long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think one of my favorite songs is Saltwater Room by Elsie because it's Oh, God. A song for me that I never get to love is Jane by Jefferson Starship. Oh. Okay. Oh, one of my favorites of all time is I Want to Be by Chris Brown. It's such a sweet song. Oh, yeah. Net, damn. Amy? She's still thinking about it. My favorite song ever is. It's, it's called, called um, Virginia, Virginia Bluebell by Randy Lambert, and it's just so sweet, sweet. and it's, and it's so, so good. good. Danny? Oh, oh, I love either, either Big, Big Green Tractor by Jason Aldean or, or Let, Me, Let Me, Down Me Down Easy by, by Billy Currington. Oh, yeah. best songs ever. Never, 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 never. Good choices, girls. <laughs> now, um, you've covered a lot of songs. What was your most favorite? Mm -hmm. uh, I like Teenage Dream. Dream. Pray. Or, 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 I, I like Pray as well. Hi, USA. I, I love. I like. What's that song? I don't know. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I, I like. Um, Teenage Dream or ABC. ABC. That's it. Cool. I love personally. I love Price Tag, and ah. Dynamite. <laughs> Thanks. Wonderful. What is your best advice to all aspiring young women who would like to enter the music industry like you girls? Mm -hmm. I'd say, I'd say figure, figure out, out who you are before you get into it because, because it's really easy, easy to be swayed, swayed and like lose yourself. yourself. Yeah. yeah. And I would and say, I would say um, um, master, master your craft, like whatever you, whatever you want to do in terms, in terms of like playing an instrument, playing an instrument singing, singing, or, or being like a vocal harmony group like us. Like us. Um, you, um, have you have to really be the best you can be at it. And, and if you're not like practicing all the time and being, and being extremely passionate, passionate then it's not going to work out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, complete the phrase. This is my last question for you. I love singing with my sisters because... I like this question. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it because it's so fun to harmonize. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, I like it because it makes me feel warm and happy inside. I think I like it best because I think I think it's better with your sisters than like like your friends because you don't really have to worry about like ooh I got you like. Save, save their feelings, their feelings say, say this and this, 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 this because we already, we already like we know each other so well that like it doesn't even matter. 
I like, I like it because, because it takes, it takes a, lot a lot of pressure, pressure off. off. Mm. Yeah. 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 And, and not, not of me. Because, because not of me. Um, if, if with your sisters, sisters they, will they will always support you no matter what. Amy? Amy? I, think, I think it's just, it's just so, so much fun. fun. Whenever we're, we're practicing, practicing and uh, building, building is really, 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 really fun. fun. So I, I love it the most because, because we're all in sync with each other. Like our brains are all in sync. So we're like... Always, Always on the same, same page, page which makes, makes things, things so easy. easy. Yeah. yeah. You guys are phenomenal, and we wish you the best. Tell us about <laughs> your <laughs> projects, <laughs> and where do we see you next? Where do we uh, go and visit your site? You have a YouTube site, so you might want to invite our viewers there. Okay, Okay. yeah, yeah check out youtube.com slash Cimarelli the band, or, or just search Cimarelli, C-I-M-O-R-E, L L I and, and we will come, come right up and, and check, check out, out our videos. videos. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And before you say goodbye again, introduce yourselves before they forget each one of you. I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Lisa. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. I'm Danny. And we're Zimarelli. And I'm Kate Cloudman. And thank you so much for having us. And we wish you the best of luck, girls. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Kate. Bye.